Nothing beats being out and about and adventuring. But if you can't do that, and in the present circumstances it's understandable, then the next best thing is to do it virtually. And here are some old school adventuring games. 1. Vegan on a Desert Island A hypothetical question is taken to the extreme in this game. Our protagonist, Rachel, is challenged by the brutality of nature, the politics of species, and the struggle to persevere. Rachel's vegan ethos is useful, as the island is brimming with animals that can help her. But winning their support is no easy task. Rachel must use her communication skills and problem-solving abilities rather than coercion to get what she wants. Now this great game is a 2D adventure game and it's available for PC, Mac, Linux and FreeBSD. And it's very much old style in the Super Nintendo style, I think. So if you're used to playing any of them old games, I think you'd be home with this. The graphics are just perfect. The problem solving, yeah, a little bit challenging, but not too bad. And the controls, well, they, they become second nature after a while. So if problem solving is something that you like to do, I think Vegan on an Island is just for you. Number two, Flight of the Amazon Queen. Now this game is downloadable from the FreeBSD repository and it's playable via the Scum VM. So uh, it's the proper thing, it's not a remake, it's not a port. And going through it, it's very much like a 1940s, I don't know, adventure serial. Similar to Indian the Jones in a way. If you've ever played, or if you're old enough to ever play any Amiga games, then this will uh, this will look very familiar, or any, indeed any old PC games. And the game starts off eventually when you get there after a little bit of a cutscene, where you get two of our protagonists uh, facing certain doom. And there they are. So I'll just fast forward all this because it does take a while. And basically the big bad villain who is going to come and uh, kill them. No. And the hero turns up, says he can free them. The villain turns up. They escape. He gets blown up. They get on a plane. And when he arrives, someone is missing. It's a point and click adventure uh, where you look for clues, work out the puzzles as you go along. And it's a, it's a, pretty, uh, it's a pretty classic game. So check it out. It, the interface works nicely. The graphics are very nice. And I think this is a good way to while away the hours. Number three, Rescue. Described as an action adventure in space, it really is just a Star Trek game. Uh, that was very prevalent in the 1980s. Uh, it's called Star Trek Rescue Mac, and it's an adventure action game in space written in Java. It's based on an old Mac game called Rescue by Tom Spreen. It's a 2D space real-time action strategy game, and you're in control of the ship that you fly, it's obviously the Enterprise, that you fly around in space fighting enemies and making friends on your way. The main objective is to rescue people from planets and take them to star bases. Now that's easier said than done. Uh, I had a go at this and the complication is, uh, there's a lot on the screen to look at and I think the game is way too complicated for me. But if you're into your strategy and real-time games, I think this will actually, uh, this will do the job. As you can see from my gameplay, I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, but then again, I didn't uh, in the Star Trek games that used to be get in the 1980s uh, as well. So uh, not not change there for me. Try it out. You might like it, and it's free. And if you want a bit of that old school uh, adventuring, this is pretty good. Number four, Open Adventure. The original Colossal Cave Adventure from 1976 was the origin of all text adventures. Dungeon crawl games and computer hosted role playing games. This is the last version released by Crowver and Woods, its original authors, in 1995. It's been known as Adventure 2.5 and 430 Point Adventure. It's available from the FreeBSD repositories as Open Adventure. As you can see, it's a text one where you uh, have to type in short commands like South, West, etc., work your way out through the forest, work out the clues as you go along, and I found a building. So enter, look at the building, if I can spell it, 
gives you a short description. There's no graphics here, so you have to use your imagination. And then you can enter the building and you grab the various objects. Now, I remember during the 1980s where you had 8-bit computers. This was something which we played a lot. Although by that time, some very basic graphics were starting to uh, creep into the games. But there were still some uh, adventures that there were text, like the Scott Adams, etc. So yeah, if you want a taste of the old school adventures using text, this game will fit your needs. It's very well done, by the way. And no, I haven't typed in any colourful metaphors in order to see what the computer would say. As we used to do a lot in the uh, school days on the school computers. Number five. It's either Meritius or Mauritius, uh, whichever way you pronounce it. It's a top-down adventure game where it's set far below the surface of a planet. Our character, seeking an end to the troubles that plague him, journeys into the hallowed orca storm in search of answers. You basically start off in this area where you can buy power-ups, you can save your status and your uh, progress, and you venture into the different catacombs and dungeon areas of the game, encountering aliens as you go along, or baddies, or whatever they are. You zap them with a, like a, an energy field, so the longer you hold it down, the more powerful it becomes and the wider it goes, but the closer they can get to you. Killing them will result in some nice, uh, what presumably, crystals that you pick up. And then you can trade them crystals back at your start, uh, there if you happen to get killed, and uh, upgrade yourself. And this is a fun little game. I actually quite enjoyed this. So yes, you just pick up all the diamonds and crystals, etc. And you can trade them in later. Now this is a game, if you're used to old school Spectrum type of uh, isometric adventure games or dungeon games. I think you'll like this very much. And it's a game where the learning curve is not too steep. So yes, it's an excellent game and I enjoy playing it. I'll leave a link to all the games uh, that I've covered. There's only five and instructions to install them. So yes, while it would be nice to have Steam and all the latest uh, triple A games, sometimes some of the old school simpler games uh, can be just as rewarding. If you've got any games that you would like to recommend or play, then please leave them in the comment section down below and I'll pin them when we've finished. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.